Okay, here's a demonstration of MIDI using three channels out of one device and into another. So, first off, I have three MIDI tracks. I have drums, bass, and line six amp modeler. I'm going from Cubase on my ancient computer through my MIDI interface, MIDI out on that, to the MIDI in on the line six, then from the MIDI through on the line six, into my Dr. Rhythm drum machine. This is going to play the drums and the bass. Drums are panned hard left, bass is panned hard right, so I can control them independent of each other in my mixer. The drums are connected directly into the mixer. The bass is then connected back out into the line six, which can model all sorts of lovely amps and things. And then that is connected with the stereo outs into my mixer. What's happening here is I'm playing some drums on channel one, straight into the drum machine. Bass, channel two, into the drum machine, which is then connected into the line six, which is being controlled here using MIDI CCs to do all sorts of lovely things like we have panning left and right. We have wah-wah turned on, the wah-wah effect, gradual. We have amp model changing and we have switching the amp on and off. It doesn't sound very good but it's more of a demonstration of how this works. So first off we have drums on their own. Lovely. That's just channel one. Next up, and take a look at the pod. It's on channel three, MIDI channel three. I can control the various presets here with program changes. These all had to be set up manually because this version of Cubase predates the line six. And of course, as you see here, I'm just going to play this section where the amp changes and you'll see them changing on the line six. Hold on. There we are, we're sending our change message now. And we are changing amp, as you can see. Lovely. All controlled with MIDI. Another note about the other program changes, which had to be set in manually for the presets. The amp presets here, as I flick through them, you can see it's sending out the change message. And I'm clicking that manually with the mouse there. Anyway, without further ado, here's the song in action. There's the bass in stereo going through the pod. As you see, you're going to see the wah-wah switch on and go through wah-wah effect fast and then slow. Lovely. Next up, amp changes and panning left and right. There's the panning left and right. Now you'll see, I'm changing, I'm switching on and off. Panning again, drum still working independent. Lovely. And that is how we use MIDI. Now if you don't mind, a cup of coffee and I think I'm going to open that big white box over there which contains a brand new iMac, so I fucking deserve it.